is we continue the sympathetic parasympathetic uh, balance as we work with this. So we talked to you about using the violet laser to uncover hidden weaknesses. We didn't use the red laser at all, which buys us a lot of time, especially if we swipe down, we keep the reflex open. And, uh, but now we're going to assume that we use that violet laser, we uncovered kind of the keystone hidden weaknesses, we multidimensionally corrected an area, like we found ourselves going to a C5 myotome, and there was layers to it. We found nutritional things, structural things, fascial things, a sacral belt that related to it, and that's really an advantage to an advanced practitioner that you want to do the simple streamlined things, but on subsequent visits where you corrected something and didn't hold, that makes sense. Healing can take time, and you may have to repeat doing some of the things. But when you find something that continually shows up on visit number three, visit number four for sure, you want to start looking at how are these complementary things really affecting it. You want to look at that system approach. Now, we're going to assume that we kind of really found a therapeutic dose pattern of laser. So we're not going to look at just fixing individual finite things all the time. We've really found some keystone things. We're looking at her right cortex, left cerebellum, or her sacrum now as far as therapeutic dose lasering when she comes in for visits. But we're still going to say we're on the second cycle of 12 visits um, when we start doing some of the work that we are with hidden weaknesses with the violet laser. And so it's just so fast to go back and forth. So it really buys you time as we just displayed, especially when you're doing a nutritional program. But we're going to show you another level that the laser is not going to be used diagnostically. We're actually going to be using it as a treatment for sympathetic parasympathetics. We're going to go back to our screen with the four tiles and we're going to hit quick program. And just I'm going to use just the standard settings of 916 into the red and 9 and 16 into the violet. So we're going to do a mirror image correction, what we discuss right now. You're not wrong to put it on 9, 16, 42, 53. That would work absolutely fine because it has a lot to do with the wavelength. But when we do what we're about to share, show you to do a mirror image challenge and a mirror image correction using the violet red together. So it's just so quick to do it. You just go to the four tiles, you go to mode select, you hit the acne protocol, that shuts off the red and turns on the violet. And then you just hit the back button, you go back to the four tiles, and you just automatically go to quick program. You can either go through your storage spots on it, but this is actually the last program that we have set in there, and it's just that quick. You turn the red-violet on together, and this is how we're going to use it for a treatment standpoint.